Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a review here on the Lego Ninjago Salvage Mech um, set, M-E-C, that's what the, you know, it's kind of like standing for something maybe, but um, you know, it's also, you know, Ronin's new mech and stuff, um, set number 70592, um, ages 8 to 14, um, 439 pieces, 4 minifigures, um, you know, 3 kind of new ones, um, 2 of the skeletons are kind of more like redesigned or new um, design um, skeletons, you know, you know, there's some new pieces and printing or, I don't know, printing, but you know, there's some different pieces, pieces they used that like weren't on some of the original figures, um, I think, but you know, there's still some more skeletons to collect, so if you never really got any like me, um, you know, that's kind of something to collect, but again, guys, as you could tell, my reviews are not the best, I'm still trying to, you know, figure um, some stuff out and places, you know, to get like the best like shot of the set and stuff, but um, you know, I'm still trying that. Um, again, though, I, I'm just gonna be honest here. I'm just like using a phone um, to do the reviews, but um, you know, the minifigures. I'll do the minifigures here, and then I'll just kind of show you guys some of the functions of the the salvage mech itself. It's actually a really cool looking set, um, and it's nice to have another version of Ronin and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So to the minifigures. Alright, so here are the minifigures that are included in the Lego Ninjago Salvage Mech set. And of course, you know, three of these are kind of new, um, you know, especially if you didn't collect any skeletons, as I said before. Um, but, you know, they're also, you know, a little bit differently designed for the skeletons as well, you know, some different pieces and stuff. But um, a totally brand new exclusive figure is in the set, and it's a brand new Ronin minifigure. And of course, the first one we had gotten is, you know, in his Ronin, um, his Rex. His Rex set from the Possession Wave, so, you know, it's cool to get another version of him, especially, you know, it shows he's going to be coming back next season. So here is his minifigure first, and of course, you know, he's got his same head printing and head uh, and all that stuff. You know, in this set, they're giving him his hair, so, um, you know, if you have his hat from the last wave or something like that, um, you're able to use his hair now here. Um, of course, he gets his mask again, um, and Ronan himself, he does have this little back printing on his the back of his head like the strap all right around um again i'll just show you guys um his face too without his mask and i'll take the back um sword thing off you know it just kind of held swords but there's his face you know it's a uh, um more of a smiling smirk face there for ronin just like his old one it's the same exact one um but you see his new outfit and it is very very different to what his um old one was some of the same color design like the similar the same similar colors but um the design is like very very different i um, mean you know, he's got lots of weird stuff all over the place you know i've got some of the orange the green um some of the gray and you know silver just lots of lots of color and design there um, you see, yeah, it just looks a lot. There's just a lot there. Um, I don't exactly know what to describe this. You know, he's got like a dark red belt sort of thing there. Um, he's got the orange arm sleeve there on the left. And then the green on the right. Like, I think that's how his other figure was. Um, you know, he's got lots of different design right there on his front. Some orange, silver there. Um, different shades of green and stuff. Um, he's got some silver. Like, it looks like he's got a wrench there printed on his leg. His right leg there as one as part of the printing, um, nice silver there and some silver printing there as well. Um, but yeah, that's he's got a really really detailed front and the back. Of course, he's got some very very detailed printing there as well. It almost looks like it could be like a a pack or something there in the back. You know, looks like it's holding like some sort of a knife or sword or something there. Um, but yeah, it looks like it could be some sort of pack holding stuff. Um, but you know, we got some more of the silver looking printing there as well, as well as the green and the orange and stuff. But of course, his color scheme, you know, the main color for Ronin there, you know, it's kind of mainly the same on how it was with the original figure. Now, the only figure in this, whole, the only thing I actually see wrong with this set, really, is the, in, that they included this version of Nia. Now, this version of Nia was only available at first in the Tiger Widow Island set from the Skybound Wave. And it came with her mask too, which is kind of disappointing with this set because you can only get her hair, but they don't include the mask. But, you know, you do get her um, Skybound outfit again. Of course, this is not even a Skybound set, so which is kind of, you know, really, really odd. This set is not for Skybound, so um, it's kind of odd to get her Skybound outfit again. But, um, yeah, so you get her a Skybound outfit again. Um, you know, she has that ordinary classic face that they've been giving her, like the 
the past few waves now. It's not like her face. It doesn't really look like her face, but that's the face they've been giving her. Um, again, no back printing on the head there. Um, they've never had that, um, at least for this one. Um, you know, the two gold swords that kind of slip into the armor on the back. Um, the dark red sleeves and her blue, white, you know, water symbol printing there um, with the air jitsu. And some of the gold and the dark red and the black uh, down on the legs too with the dark red belt and printing there. But um, of course, we've seen this made a figure before. But of course, I'll cover it all. And of course, the back printing has, you know, like the blue and the white, you know, f um, wing symbol design on the back there too, like all the other Skybound ones did, and like it did in the Tiger Widow Island set. So, um, you know, it's not a new minifigure, but I guess if you never got the Tiger Widow Island, it's kind of nice to get, though you do not get her hood. So that's maybe like the only thing that, it just didn't seem right for the set, but. Um, and then this is the new crazy minifigure, um, skeleton minifigure, uh, a little bit different that I saw on the original ones but um again i just kind of have this weapon here it's the new um it's the new um film weapons and stuff you know with like the gem the bottom here and then like the transparent green and stuff very interesting but um here's the new crazy minifigure it's got black here on this side and then the red so it's a little bit different than like the blue and red i saw um for the original minifigure um but you know he's got his like little creepy looking um clown face type of thing there um with his printing on his eyes you know he's got the, the red and some of the black around his eyes um you know just that creepy skeleton clown looking face you know it's very um creepy looking um no printing on the back of the head of course and there is his body um you know just the skeleton itself some printing right on the top here looks like some, like some bolts in there or something um and in the back, of course, there's no printing or anything. It's just the skeleton. Um, you know, you do get these arms that are just attached like the old, like the skeletons did um, originally. You got the skeleton symbol there, you know, the skull and the, um, the red belt sort of thing there again that some of the old figures kind of had, like a belt there. And, of course, you got the legs that you kind of snapped into when you open the set. So, um, still, the skeleton figures, very, very cool minifigures. You know, they've always looked cool so it's kind of nice to get some more um of these if you never got any like i, I mean i had never gotten any so it's kind of nice to get them um and then to the last one and frack jaw apparently this one is very very different as wait um this one's very very different as well um i looked at it it's a little bit different now um but you know he's got this you know it's he's got this um helmet here he's able to pull down you know and some goggles and stuff um so that's what he has there um looks like he has got new armor and stuff like i don't think the skeletons had this armor in um their original wave way back in 2011 but um yeah that is what he's got here um it looks like the same exact body arms legs and stuff for what um crazy had but his, his head printing is a little bit different now he's just got like an ordinary creepy skeleton ninjago look uh, you know the, the the red eyes and all that stuff and that he's got some you know, stuff like bolted in on his head there and stuff, um, some cracks in his head. Uh, and on the back, you also got some more of that bolted um, metal pieces and stuff and the cracks. So um, that's what you kind of got there for this guy. And um, yeah, so the skeleton figures look very, very cool and interesting. Um, so there's the main minifigure selection of this Salvage Max set. Now um, I'm going to go on to the actual set itself where I'm going to show you guys some of the functions um, of the set. All right, now I'm gonna go on to the main mech here of the set. And of course, sorry again if it's not the best review. Um, I've never really figured out how to, the best way to show you guys some of these sets. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna, there's like two mechs in this set, so there's several mechs. Um, but there's a smaller one here, I'm gonna go with a smaller one here, the skeleton mech, and of course this one. You know, you got the skeleton just sitting right inside with his head popping right out of the, right out of the top, so it kind of looks like a big skeleton. But, um, you know, he's got his main mech here. Um, there's the built feet there. And you got a ball joint right there just to move the feet. And a ball joint right here to move the leg. So some simple built legs there for it. Um, he's got two, you know, swords right here. Silver swords um, for the skeleton there. He's got another ball joint right here at the top hinge right here. And then he's got, you know, some more of these little um, back and forth hinge right here. Um, for another part of the arm, like an elbow joint part of the arm. 
Um, you can see there right in the front is the skeleton symbol, and that is a sticker right on the piece there, though. Um, and the side you can see is kind of like skeleton, um, you know, like the rib cage or something like that. <laughs> At least that's what I'm saying it is. But um, yeah, so you kind of got some of the design there too, you know, right around wrapping around them. The back just kind of has the, the logo brick there in the back. Um, not much design on there. But, you know, inside you would flip this down. So you'd flip this main thing down, flip the figure inside, and that's what you would have there. So um, that's kind of like the mainly the simple little skeleton neck there. But um, it's a very nice little build to actually have in the set. But, you know, on to the actual main set itself. That is Ronin's Salvage Mech or Ronin's Mech or whatever you want to call it. Um, lots of different things. It looks very, very cool. And um, in this set, of course, you I'm just going to go right to the blaster part. In this blaster part, of course, you would shoot this off. And then, you know, this little part right here is connected to it, so it'd shoot off. It's like a net to capture the skeleton or something like that. And, um, of course, you know, these blasters probably were nice and well already. But you shoot them off, you know, like stud pieces or something like that. And that's what you would end up getting done. Now, um, to the mech, you know, you're able to twist it back and forth you know with some of the other mechs like Nia Samurai mech was able to do this so um, very nice to do that um, makes the mech move it just looks makes it look much better when you're playing around with it and stuff um, here's his arm the, the left arm here on the mech and um, you can see there's some sticker printing here so that's just a sticker um, but you know it looks like there's like a blaster right here it doesn't actually blast but you know it's like some Lego bricks to make it look like some sort of blaster up there um, inside this little um, container here, you just got some bricks, um, like a gold brick in there and stuff, so kind of interesting there. Um, and the back here, of course, this is a little glider that comes off, so you're able to, you know, bring the wings out right here, and then, um, you know, fly around with Ronin in it, if you, like, you know, you really needed to put Ronin inside, and then, you know, fly around. Um, so that's something kind of extra, so if you want to kind of take some of the bulk um, off of the set and make it look a little not just less bricks on it you know take the back off and you kind of got this spot where it would go but um yeah so you got some swords here in the back um and on the right arm you can see it is you know the ball joint here you got some of the spinner tops pieces here that are kind of the gold spinner top pieces that they've included in past sets now several sets for ninjago um, you can see here on his arm, you know, his simple ball joint, some dark red pieces here. Um, he's got his hat right here. So, I mean, I guess if you guys really wanted to, you could take this off and you could put it on his head if you want to use his hat. Um, but, you know, he's got this blade right here um, on the mech and with his, the, the black pieces for the fingers here. But the sword itself, it kind of goes in, you know, it just kind of simply slides into a spot. So it doesn't just kind of fall out of the hand easily. And then the fingers around it can grip it so it doesn't really fall out. So I really like when they do that with the mechs because, you know, it's a, they're able to hold their weapons much better. And apparently this weapon can also go out and they can put it back here in the back of the mech here. Um, the mech right here though, the arm, there is a blaster right here and he's got a black, um, you know, blaster weapon part here so um that's what is right on the right arm so he's got a blaster you know to shoot off and you know he's got another hat on the side other side too so there's actually two of his hat in there but they're on the mech so now to his legs they're really really built up um lots of different weird pieces but you know it keeps it really sturdy um you know if you get it the right position the mech is pretty sturdy um, when he's standing and stuff, it doesn't fall over easily or something like that. And of course, you know, the, these, um, hinges right here, these joints are able, you know, those really allow the mech just to stay in place. And unlike some mechs where they just kind of fall over when they're on the ball joints. So it's very nice to have those joints there, um, right here that just kind of lock in. Um, but yeah, we got another sticker right here. Some printing right there, but that's the sticker. Um, some of the dark red stretching down. Um, he's got a printing right here um, on his leg part here too. So um, this is like I Heart Ninjago or something. Just um, put some letters in there to reference Ninjago in there. Um, and some different like a ninja printing on there and all that stuff. So um, pretty interesting. Um, and on the side, on this, on the right side here, you got some printing right here. You got like a gun right here. So it's kind of interesting. 
um, you know, some more dark red pieces, and um, of course, in the feet you got some gold pieces, and then the gray in the back just kind of put it in place. Um, and on the left, and the left um, leg, you do get a um, skateboard, so you're able to take that off and use it for Ronin. Um, I think that is like literally in the set um, pictures and stuff too. You're able to take the skateboard and use it with Ronin and stuff um, if you really wanted to. But um, yeah, so it's very nice to um, have that included as well. Um, so you just put that on the side of the mech. Um, but you know, Ronin himself, he would go inside. Um, you open it like this. You know, you've got some pieces on the side here. Just kind of enclose it in. You put you put Ronin right here in the middle, and then you'd um, you know close it up, and then you'd have Ronin in there. Um, this is a printed piece here. It's nice and printed on the, the, the main front part, so it's not like a sticker or anything, so it's nice. Um, but all together, you know, it's a very, very cool mech to have, especially with Feronin. He's a very, very cool character, um, to Ninjago, so, um, it's nice to get another figure for him, another vehicle for him, or kind of a vehicle, but, you know, like a machine, um, thing for him. But, you know, it's nice to have another, um, build for Ronin. But um, all together though, it's also nice to have this little skeleton mech. It's a very, very cool little set as well, or little build as well. So um, along with that, you know, you get some great minifigures. Um, you, know, you get the skateboard thing. Um, you get the crazy minifigure, of course. Um, the new weapon, the new skeleton weapon. Um, and Nia, of course, but that's just the Skybound version. So it's kind of odd for that, but you know, great, great set with um, a great selection of different things. Um, and I would highly recommend it, you know, if you just, it just, it's just a really good set itself. So there's mainly a great minifigure selection and, um, you know, there's great builds with it. You know, the skeleton mech is very, very well, simple little mech for the skeletons. Um, and then some great minifigures as well. And the mech, Ronan's mech, um, very well detailed for Ronan himself. Um, and some really great features. So, um, that's kind of my main review here of the Ninjago salvage mech set. Um, what do you guys think about it? I think it's a very very cool set. Um, I think it's like 30 or 40 dollars 40 dollars. Yeah um, You know, it's main price, but you know if you want to wait it could go down But um, right now though that is the salvage Mac for main figures. Um, but yeah So what do you guys think of the Lego Ninjago salvage Mac set?